morning everyone welcome to the morning devotion praying through the psalms my friends today we are praying psalm 140 this is a psalm of david in this psalm we see david praying to the lord to deliver him from the enemies david had number of enemies in his lifetime first of all it was king saul his own king who turned out to be his enemy Secondly, he had number of other people, sometimes his own friends who turned against him and made his life really miserable. They, sp- they spread wrong news about him. They falsely accused him and made his life really miserable. My friends, in all these occasions, David went to the Lord in prayer and pleaded with him for his mercy and pleaded with the Lord to take care of him and to punish his enemies. And here we find David calling his enemies as the wicked people, as the violent ones, as the arrogant ones. And their words are a kind of poison. And David felt the sting and poison of their bad talk. We now read verses 1 through 6. Deliver me, Lord, from the wicked. Preserve me from the violent, from those who plan evil in their hearts who stir up conflicts every day, who sharpen their tongue like a serpent, venom of asps upon their lips. Keep me, Lord, from the clutches of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent, who plot to trip me up. The arrogant have set a trap for me. They have spread out ropes for a net, laid snares for me by the wayside. So this is how he is pleading with the Lord, trying to describe his life, trying to tell the Lord about his enemies. In all these struggles and troubles from the enemies, David never lost hope in the Lord. He went to the Lord in prayer, pleaded with the Lord and declared, O Lord, you are my God. Beautiful, my friends. We now read verses 7 and 8. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, Lord, to the words of my pleas. Lord, my master, my strong deliverer. My strong deliverer. So he calls God as the strong deliverer. You cover my head on the day of armed conflict. So he's pleading with the Lord to take care of him. Beautiful. Now, next, verses 9 through 11 is a kind of prayer against the enemies. The enemies have set the trap. And he now, he prays to the Lord that they be in their own trap. Verse 9 through 11. Lord, do not grant the desires of the wicked one. Do not let his plot succeed. So he is praying to the Lord that their plots not be successful. Those who surround me raise their heads. May the mischief they threaten overwhelm them. So let them be in their own trap. Drop burning coals upon them. Cast them into the watery pit, never more to rise. So this is how he's praying against his own enemies, that the trap they set for him, that they be in their own traps, that they that they fall in their own traps. In the last verses, 13 and 14, David expressed his total trust and confidence in the Lord, that he will take care of the needy, poor, lowly, and the righteous. Beautiful. We now read the last verses, 13 and 14. For I know the Lord will take up the cause of the needy. See his total trust in the Lord. Justice for the poor. The Lord always does justice to the poor. Then the righteous will give thanks to your name. The upright will dwell in your presence. See his total confidence and trust in the Lord. That the Lord will address their problems. He will take care of them. My friends, what a beautiful psalm this is. As we pray this psalm, I am very sure we can be lifted up. Our spirits can be really lifted up. This psalm will give us a lot of strength and courage, especially in times of our troubles and struggles. With all these thoughts, we now pray this beautiful psalm, Psalm 140. Deliver me, Lord from the wicked. Preserve me from the violent. 
from those who plan evil in their hearts, who stir up conflicts every day, who sharpen their tongue like a serpent, venom of asps upon their lips. Keep me, Lord, from the clutches of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent who plot to trip me up. The arrogant have set a trap for me. They have spread out ropes for a net, laid snares for me by the wayside. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Listen, Lord, to my words and my pleas. Lord, my master, my strong deliverer, you cover my head on the day of armed conflict. Lord, do not grant the desires of the wicked one. Do not let his plot succeed. Those who surround me raise their heads. May the mischief they threaten overwhelm them. Drop burning coals upon them. Cast them into the watery pit, never more to rise. Slanderers will not survive on earth. Evil will hunt down the man of violence to overthrow him. For I know the Lord will take up the cause of the needy. Justice for the poor. Then the righteous will give thanks to your name. The upright will dwell in your presence. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, O powerful God, O most holy God, we thank you, we praise you, and we bow down before you. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful psalm, Psalm 140. The psalmist tells us today that you are most caring God, most understanding God. You are the one who would take care of those people who come to you in their need, who place their total trust in you. Lord, increase our faith in you. Help us to always trust in you. We need you in our life. Every single moment of our life, we need you, O oh Lord. Be with us, enthuse us, take care of us. Especially take care of us those moments when we are tempted by the Satan, by the devil. We cannot fight on our own, Lord, without your strength and capacity. Bless all your people. Bless all your people who participate in this beautiful program, praying through the Psalms. Let them be aware of your love for them, O Lord, who take care of the lowly ones, poor ones, the just ones. Here we are in need of your help. We are the lowly ones, O oh Lord. We are the poor ones, O oh Lord. Thank you for this great assurance that you, that you would take care of us. Keep us safe in your love every single day. In a very special way, we pray for all our family members, sick members of our community, our families, especially those people who feel lonely who feel abandoned, strengthen them, take out the despair from their life, use us for your glory. Send us to take care of those people. Let no one be discouraged. Once again, stay with us, encourage us, and protect us from our enemy, the devil. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Psalm 140 assures us that our God will take care of the lowly, needy, and those people who trust in the Lord always. My friends, let us totally trust in the Lord 
and be safe god bless us thank you for watching our program praying through the psalms kindly stay tuned to jcku creations to watch our program both on facebook page and youtube channel you may also spread your word about this program with your friends and other people they could be part of this program and benefit as well thank you again see you next with psalm 141 until then stay blessed Thank you.